Hey guys, Brand here from Revolutions TV. Um, so recently, after the professional, how to make a professional MySpace layout, um, all those part like five, I remember, I don't know. There's a lot though. This one, it's not even part of it. People have a lot, a lot of people have been requesting it um, because it's not really helpful because if you just learn how to make the layout, but then your friends get hidden and you want to have that friends and comments box that I did. Um, so I'm finally making a tutorial for it. Sorry that um, if you got a little mad at me because I didn't do it because I saw people were like, "Tell us, tell us, how do you do? It? What's the code?" So many people messaged me, commented me. Um, so basically, I'm going to there's going to be a link in the sidebar to my website for the code. But first, I have MySpace open and I'm going to be showing you what each code does and how to work it. So here we are over here into musicians. But I'm just doing this on the same page I did the statuses layout on. Um, and someone did re recognize that he does not have that layout anymore. I know of that because my cousin is the one who designed this new one. Um, so let's go over this. You will not be putting this, if you remember, um, when you do the div class equals main content or whatever yours is, um, you do not put it in, like, the area where you put your content. Um, it's a whole new code. It's no div coding except for inside the style codes. So let's take a first of this first code. Let's take a look at this first code. This right here, style orange text 15 display none, is basically the text where it says your name has this many friends. So on this page, it would say it's boom bitches um, has whatever friends. Um, so that's basically what you're trying to cancel. You don't want that to show the orange text that shows up. So put that co that code does that. This code right here is basically linking it to the div of when you control your positioning and basically you pretty much need that so it works if you don't it will not have any color coding and everything this also does I believe some of the colors for it yeah um, so let's go down a little bit right here is this this is just a code you can find on my website not my website um, my create blog account and basically what it is it centers your comments with spacers like they have lines underneath that you'll be seeing what I'm you'll see what I mean in a moment um, I'll preview the profile so you know you can go through this code. I'll have a link in the description to this code for create blog. This will also be in the link on my website. So yeah, it's a lot of coding, but it's really simple. All you pretty much need to do is change the FF22F and the FFFFF, I believe. I don't know, something like that. So it's a long code. It ends right there. And then here is the um, the diving for it. So if you remember. Um, the net more lower it, the more to the direction. So let's see where was it at? Margin left. So more. Um, I set mine to 900. It's not really. I was just testing it, so I had it at 400. Um, so that's perfectly centered for my layout that was for statuses. Um, and then so let me just go through this code. As you can see right here, I guess I got this from JB. I don't know exactly where I got it from. Um, I thought I got it from, I forget the name, I'll have the link in the description, I've been telling everyone to go to use that one, but you set the width 790 and 365, um, that was mine, you set yours to whatever it needs to be. Um, background color, so inside the box, let's say, I already have mine green, I didn't have it green, I might, it's set to, gotta have it to black. And then border, one pixel, border color red, that's for, like, the border of it that surrounds it, I'm just gonna set this to zero and uh, solid you can probably set that to dotted I think is one of them it looks pretty weird but I don't know why you don't do it I'm just gonna set this to black just in case and then the position absolute top the higher the number the more opposite it goes so top 1840 is gonna be more near the bottom margin left negative 400 is gonna be more towards the left um, and if it were higher it would be more towards the right so that's basically it um, if we go preview this, I'm going to pause the video and get into the profile to show you. Alright, as you can see, I am now at the bottom of the page. This, remember, this was originally for Stasis layout, which was on here, and was a huge um, height in dimensions. So, let me show you what I mean, what, what the codes did. So, obviously, they positioned this to where I wanted it. I have a little scroll bar, that's because of the code I put in there. Um, if you mess with it, you can probably get rid of that, um, but of course the scroll bar on the um, right side is what you need. So basically, if you have a layout on here, and oops, and you have links set to a certain color, like MyGen, you can set link color to like blue, or not blue, because that's kind of what it is, like white or something, so when you go over it, it's white, so it would mean the standard blue and red. 
Um, so go ahead, you can make your layout and then change the options in there. And then if we scroll down here, the comments, this is the code I was telling you about, that really long code that does those ni the nice little professional MySpace comments. See, as you can see this little spacer here. So I created that code myself. You can go to um, the link in the description for innerdemon25.createblog.com. Um, so that's basically what that does. And so yeah, I hope you guys at least are happy that I finally did this. So remember, negative, closer to the position, closer to that position, higher, more away from it. So that's pretty much it. Sorry if you're, you know, if you, hopefully you learned something. So peace.